Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to go over the list of the top 10 best reverse proxy for Linux, Windows and Docker. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the list. So at number 1, we have HA proxy or HAP proxy. So HAP proxy stands for High Availability Proxy, which is a fast, free and open source reverse proxy with top-notch load balancing and proxying capabilities for HTTP and for the TCP based applications. Now this HAP proxy is powered by a non-blocking event-driven engine that combines a priority-based multi-threaded scheduler with a first input-output layer. Now this engine enables it to deal with thousands of concurrent connections easily. After that, let's talk about the pros of each one. So the pros of HAP proxy include that it supports multiple network segments and virtual hosting which are usually done on the layer 4 and the layer 7. After that, it has a well detailed and user friendly status page. It is easy and smooth integration with third party monitoring tools and services. Other than this, it also supports cookie guidance and session retention. Now with pros come some cons as well. And some of the cons of HAP proxy include that it does not support web server capabilities and it does not support SPDY and POP or SMPT protocols. Other than this, it also does not support the HTTP cache functioning. And even for the multi-process mod, it has poor support. Now after HAP proxy, at number 2, we have Nginx. Now Nginx is a popular free open source server and a reverse proxy that also works as an IMAP or POP3 proxy server. Now for instance, this reverse protocol is best known for its stability, high performance, low resource consumption and its rich feature set. And very similar to HAP proxy, Nginx is powered by an event-driven architecture. Now this basically means that it can handle thousands of concurrent connections without using too much of the resource. Now some of the pros of Nginx include that Nginx is one of the most consistently written code bases. It has user-friendly configuration format and with Nginx the user handles several connections since it supports context switching. Not only that, Nginx also enhances the website's performance, supports various web applications like Joomla, Python and Ruby and it is not highly dependent on the network stability. Now talking about some of the cons that we get with Nginx, then the first and the foremost is that it has a smaller community support when compared to other reverse proxies. And it only provides support for HTTP, HTTPS and email protocols. Other than this, URL detection is not covered by the backend server health check. At number 3, we have Warnish HTTP Cache. Now this Warnish HTTP Cache is a free and open source caching reverse proxy that also doubles up as a web application accelerator. It is built to enhance the HTTP functionality by using server-side caching. Warnish extends using the Warnish modules which are known as vmods, allowing users to write their custom modules or used community provided modules. However, Warnish does not support SSL or TLS. Some of the pros that we get with Warnish include that its one-time installation ensures that no further checks or updates are required after the installation. It has enhanced user experience with fast search results and it supports customization to software which in turn increases performance. Now some of the cons that we get with Warnish HTTP cache include that it does not support standard integration SSL. The cache does not update in real time. At number 4 we have Trific. So Traffic is a fast load balancer and HTTP reverse proxy for deploying microservices with support for multiple load balancing algorithms. Now its interfaces, it has multiple interfaces with a wide range of providers such as Docker, etcd, Swarm, Zookeeper and so much more. Some of the major pros that you get with Traffic include that it has a seamless integration with Kubernetes, it has a simple and clean user interface, it supports multiple load balancing algorithms and it even has Let's Encrypt support. Some of the cons we get with traffic is that it is not very beginner friendly and it has a steep learning curve. Other than this, it also has a poor documentation especially in the earlier versions. At number 5, we have the Apache HTTP server. Apache HTTP server is arguably the most popular web server in the world. And other than being a web server, it can also be configured to act as a reverse proxy. Now surely, other than this, Apache web server comes with modules that increase the software's functions. Some of the major pros that we get with Apache HTTP server include that it updates security patches very frequently. The software is open source and free even for commercial users. The module based structure increases the flexibility of its server and it is very beginner friendly and easy to use. 
Other than this, it is also a cross-platform application, which means that it can work both on Windows and Unix servers. Some of the cons, however, that we get with Apache HTTP server include that it can be difficult to handle multiple concurrent requests with HTTP server. Other than this, there are too many configuration options which increase security vulnerabilities. Anyways, moving on with our list, at number 6, we have the Squid Proxy Server. Now, Squid Proxy Server is again an open source caching proxy that supports FTP, HTTP, and HTTPS among other protocols as well. Now this Squid Proxy Server acts as an intermediary proxy that aids in enhancing response times and reducing bandwidth usage by caching and serving the frequently requested web pages. Now generally, Squid is a great accelerator that also provides access control capabilities. Some of the major pros that you get with Squid Proxy Server include that it provides improved network security, it even offers SSL encryption and it aids in distributing requests to multiple origin servers. Now along with the pros, some of the cons that we get with Squid Proxy Server include that it has relatively fewer functionalities compared to other reverse proxies and the data center contains only shared or private proxies. Other than this, the biggest con is that it has no live support. At number 7, we have the Lite TPD. Now Lite TPD, which is pronounced as Lite, is a web server software that is built for flexibility, speed and security. Now it is ideal for diverse applications, dynamic websites or environments with minimal resources. Now, Lighty provides support for SCGI, FastCGI, and CGI, meaning that you can use this server software in conjunction with applications written in any programming language. Some of the pros of Lighty include that it supports all programming languages, and it can handle all requests asynchronously. This software is open source and free to use, and other than this, it has low RAM usage even when serving thousands of users. Some of the cones of Lighty include that it lacks most advanced features present in other server softwares. And it has limited performance for larger websites as it uses a single CPU thread. At number 8, we have the Microsoft IIS. Now, Microsoft IIS is a secure and flexible server that is used to host web applications and services. And unlike other reverse proxies, Microsoft IIS has a unique design. In this, server features are managed as standalone points. On balance, this means that you can easily add, remove or replace them as you want. Some of the pros of Microsoft IIS include that it is highly extensible web server. It has seamless integration with other Microsoft products as well. And it leverages the full power of ASP.NET. Some of the cons of this proxy is that configuring IIS reverse proxy requires advanced Microsoft development skills. And the biggest drawback is that you can only use it on Windows operating system. At number 8, we have the Apache Tomcat. Now, Apache Tomcat is an open source implementation of Java server pages, Java servlet, and Java WebSocket technologies and even the Java expression language. It acts as a mature Java servlet container, and this container helps install various Java enterprise specifications such as Java server pages. Pros of Apache Tomcat include that it is free and open source, and it regularly updates to patch any vulnerabilities. It runs several web applications in different ports, and you can use Apache Tomcat on multiple operating systems. Cons of Apache Tomcat include that it has low speeds when working with static pages, it has problems with the installation, and it has a poor user interface. Lastly, at number 10, we have the HersheyCorp console. The HersheyCorp console is a data center aware solution which is designed to connect and configure applications across distributed and dynamic infrastructure. Basically, it acts as a reverse proxy for Docker applications. Now, Consul's main features are server mesh, multi-data center, and health checking. The pros of HersheyCorp Consul include that it allows easy and quick viewing of the status of your services, Consul offers convenient APIs that enable you to automate tasks, and it has seamless integration with other HersheyCorp tools. Some of the cons of HersheyCorp Consul include that it is relatively expensive when compared to other reverse proxy solutions and it is labeled as complex with steep learning features. And not only that, it has limited features compared to popular proxies like Nginx. Now that brings us to the end of this video. Now if you want to deploy Nginx proxy, Squid proxy or Apache, then simply check out the videos linked in the description box or check them out on our channel. And if you want to learn more details about these reverse proxies, then simply check out the blog that is linked in the description box. Other than this, if you have any queries regarding this video, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.